Hi, I'm Ivy, and I suffer from short-term memory loss. No, sorry, what was I supposed to say? Oh, yes. Hi, it's Ivy. Welcome back to my channel. I loved Finding Dory so much, I've seen it twice, and I already start crying when she says, What if I forget you? So today we'll make... <laughs> So today we'll be making a cute baby dory from polymer clay. All the materials with links will be in the description. You want to start by conditioning and shaping a small ball of light blue polymer clay and it helps to keep a picture of dory in front of you as a reference. At this stage I just use my fingers to give the clay the general shape without going into too much detail. Empecé por darle forma muy básica a una bolita de arcilla polimérica celeste. Ho cominciato per dare forma a una pallina di pasta polimerica celeste. È utile tenere una foto di Dori come referenza. È utile avere una foto di Dori come referenza. I used a ball tool to define the eye sockets and a pointy silicone tool to define the brow bone area. Definí las órbitas de los ojos con un instrumento de bolita y la cabeza con una herramienta de punta. O fasto la cavità de los ojos con un instrumento a palina en la testa con un instrumento a punta. Next, I defined the mouth and used a flat tool to create an opening. Luego hice la boca y para crear una abertura usé una herramienta plana. Ho definito la boca y he usado un instrumento piatto para crear una apertura. I removed a section from the top to make the dorsal fin. Removí una porción del lomo para hacer la puntita de la aleta dorsal. Ho rimosso un po' di pasta dal dorso per fare la pinna dorsale. I add a few more liquid to the eye sockets and inserted two pre-baked balls of white clay. Añadí fimo liquid en los ojos y agregué dos bolitas de arcilla polimérica blanca ya horneadas. Ho aggiunto fimo liquid negli occhi per unire due palline di pasta polimerica bianca già cotte. I used a darker shade of blue to make the eyelids. Usé un tono más oscuro de azul para hacer los párpados. Ho usato un tono più scuro di blu per fare le palpebre. Next I added the pectoral and bottom fins and baked. Agregué el resto de las aletas y la horneé. Ho aggiunto el resto delle pinne e l'ho infornata. Once baked and cool, I used acrylic paints to add the final details. Una vez enfriada, la pinté con pinturas acrílicas. Una volta raffreddata, ho usato colori acrílici per dipingerla.
Paint the yellow areas white first so that the yellow paint really stands out. Si pintan las áreas amarillas blancas primero, la pintura amarilla va a resaltar más. Se vernichate le zone gialle, bianche prima, il giallo si vedrà di più. Then glaze and you'll have a little baby Dory! I really hope you liked this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you did. Thank you all so much for watching and just keep swimming. I mean, see you next time. Bye! Ciao ciao! I like sand. Sand is squishy.